Good evening, everyone. We are out for, I believe it's night three of snaking in Vietnam, and it's already been another very productive day. So this afternoon, before I got ready to come out here tonight, I walked by the same place I saw the kukri during the day on the hotel grounds, and the same kukri was there. It's very similar to the one that we caught and filmed last night. But in addition to that one was a kukri of the same species, which is a small banded kukri, or Oligodon fasciolatus. But this one was quite special. It was a red phase. Now, I managed to collect that one, and we have it with us tonight to take some photos of, and then we're going to release it right back where we found it. And as soon as I find a nice spot to take it out and get some good video, I'll do exactly that. It's a pretty feisty little guy, so we're going to be careful. We're not going to spend too much time and stress him out, but he really is a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. So looking forward to showing you that. And in the meantime, as we walk over to a good spot, I will keep you posted if we find anything. And of course, we'll film that too. So check back in a bit. All right, folks, we have another herp. And this time it's a pretty little frog. And I believe this is an Indian paddy frog. Tiny, tiny, really tough for me to get photos of out here on my own. So I'll probably let it go, but I wanted to show you guys first. Look at that pretty little guy. Very, very cool. Bright red legs, spotted body, really bright red eyes. Fantastic little frog. I'm going to try and get a couple of shots, and then we're going to go ahead and let this guy go. Um, and then we'll get on to the kukri. Check back in a minute. Okay, folks, I have the red kukri under my hand here, and I'm just going to let you guys take a quick look at him, and then I'm going to bag him up and put him away because he's a bit of a handful. I'm on the side of a road, and I don't want to stress him out more than I have to, but I think it's cool to get a look because it is a pretty unique colored animal. So here we go. Uh, let's wait for this car to go by. Just give me a hot second and then we'll lift up and hopefully he'll stay put for a minute. And ready, set, go. There he is. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. What an amazing snake. That really is something. Sorry. He's going to move so I'm going to grab him but... This is a very, very cool um, color morph. There he goes. And we got you. Um, and these gloves don't work that good um, for keeping a grip. So, anyways, that's going to be enough stress for him right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put him away, but hopefully that's something you guys like to see. <laughs> he may go for a bite. You might be able to see some of those rear teeth. Um, but yeah, what a fantastic snake. Really cool find. I did manage to get a couple of good pictures. So that's good. And yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll get another before we finish here. But pretty happy with this. All right, time to let this guy go. All right, got some kind of frog. Oh, down he goes. Looked like a big Asian bullfrog. There he goes. Anywho, nothing else so far. Check back in if we find anything else. All right, everyone. We're out for our last night of herping here in Vietnam. And it's been a really great trip so far. This was an impromptu vacation and no particular plans to herp while we were here, but in a hotel that happens to be up against a kind of a forested hill. And there's this not too trafficked road running alongside that, which gives us these great embankments to scan down. And as you've seen so far, it's been pretty productive for us. So this is going to be our last night, and I'm happy to say that we got a pretty strong rain early this morning, and things are still pretty moist and humid. So I've come out a little bit earlier than previous nights, and I'm hoping to do a couple of passes. So we'll check back in if we find anything. Regardless, it's been a great trip. And... Yeah, let's see what we can come up with. All right, everyone. 
we've got a toke gecko up on the cliff face there. I'm gonna go see if I can get him down to get some shots without getting bit. Oh, he made a he made a move. <laughs> oh, there he is. See if we can still kind of see him here, right through there, in between all those vines. Make sure I'm not stepping on a snake. There he is. See him there. Relatively common in parts of Southeast Asia, but always a stunner when you see him. So give me a hot sec, I'll see if I can get him down. All right, we didn't manage to get him down, but I hear a few more. They actually make a loud croaking noise, so we may have a chance at spotting another one, getting them up close a little bit more. I've also spotted a lot of frogs, a lot of geckos, so it's earlier in the evening, like I said, than when we came out the other night, so I'm not too surprised I haven't seen any snakes yet, but all the food that they would love to predate on is out. So I'm optimistic, it's early, and we're gonna keep at it. All right. I got a fairly big trench, so I'm gonna try and move over real quick to show you guys before it gets down the hole. And here he is, right in the middle of the beam there. Right there in the leaf litter, right next to the rock. See if you can see him. Pretty cool. Nice big one. Anyways, this one's on the hunt, so. We'll leave it be and keep on looking for some snakes. All right, we got a few critters here, no snakes yet, but there's another big tarantula right there. Pretty good size. And then right up here, we've got a cute little tree frog, which I'm gonna try and get some in situ shots of, so I'm not gonna bug it too much. Um, I don't know my species that well here. Let me adjust this light real quick. There we go. But yeah, beautiful little tree frog. Great in situ. I'm gonna try and get a few shots and then I'll look up the species info and tag it in here so that you guys have it on the video. All right, we've got another tree frog. I think this is a common tree frog but I'm not entirely sure, so I'll get the name right and, and post it in there. He's just sitting on the ground here. And we're getting close to the end of the walk, but we've been slow walking the whole time, so we're gonna have the same amount of time on the way back. And hopefully we get something slithery. I'm a little bit surprised we haven't seen anything, but there are no rules when it comes to herping. So we'll keep at it, check back in if and when we find something else. All right, everyone. This is why, in herping, doing multiple runs can pay dividends. I literally just walked past here, and nothing was out, and now I'm here in this beautiful, pretty high white Malayan crate is now hunting around. What an absolute beauty. I'm going to try and get a few still shots of this guy, as always. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look first in case he scurries off while I'm doing that. And man, what a cool snake. This one's also got a little bit of yellow up by the front, kind of like the uh, many banded crates we get in Hong Kong do when they're mature, but a very high white body, um, very, very broad white bands um, next to the black, almost, almost uniform from the middle of the body down. Um, really, really cool and typical of a crate he doesn't really seem to care that I'm here so anyhow look at that head gorgeous very very cool two crates the snakes must be out because that's what he's looking for so he's also in the leaf litter maybe he's hunting some fossorials either way I'm gonna get some still shots and if I've still got him around after the stills I'll check back in for a send-off before we keep our walk going. All right, guys, here goes our crate off into the jungle. Beautiful, beautiful snake. See you later, buddy. 
Sorry, I couldn't get more of it. All right, guys. Well, sorry for that last minute clumsy showing of the crate, but he was making a move and I was in no position to stop him. So very cool. We just started the walk back, so I'm going to get loaded up and get to walking and hopefully we'll find something else. All right, everybody, we are walking back into the hotel grounds now and didn't manage to come up with anything else. There's a few hundred yards here where it's still possible, but I imagine we're probably done for the evening. Um, regardless, it was pretty great. Uh, ended up digging up the Malayan crate, which is fantastic, and I couldn't be happier. It's always a shame, though, these nights where it feels so perfect and you expect the snakes to be crawling out of the walls. Uh, you only end up with one, but I can't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's really fantastic. These were all lifers for me uh, on this trip, so pretty excited. Got some great photos, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget, by the way, if you do enjoy the content, to like and subscribe. It really helps us out and gives me the motivation to stay out there and continue to make content. So thanks for following along. We'll be back again next week. I'm pretty sure we're going to be in Hong Kong, though there is a possibility of another international trip. So wait and see, I suppose, but uh, it'll be coming up soon.